This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Level 78 Prom Number 30. The statements below give clues to the identity of a four-digit number. What is the last digit of the four-digit number? A, 0, B, 1, C, 3, D, 5, or E, 9? This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we will be doing the solution. Let's start by looking through all of our clues. First, we have two digits are correct but in the wrong places. One digit is correct and in the right place. Two digits are correct with one of them being in the right place and the other in the wrong place. One digit is correct but in the wrong place. And finally, none of the digits are correct. Well, looking through all of this, we can see that it's probably a good idea to start with this last statement. None of the digits are correct because that way we can eliminate the digits in the other ones in order to figure out which two, for example, in this one are correct or which one is correct in that one. So again, let's start with the last statement. So we know that none of the digits 7, 6, 4, and 2 are correct. So let's go through the other blocks and cross off the 7s, 6s, 4s, and 2s, because those are definitely not correct. So let's start with our 7s, and 6, 4, and then again the 2s. So now when we look at the first statement, two digits are correct but in the wrong places, we know what those two correct digits are because there's only two left. They must be one and three. But again, those digits are in the wrong place. Now let's look at this last statement. One digit is correct but in the wrong place. So because we crossed out the twos, sevens, sixes, and fours, we know that that one correct digit must be one. So, so far we know we have one and three as two of the four digits in our number, but we don't know where they are quite yet. Now let's look at these two statements. From the first one, we know that one digit is correct and in the right place. And from the second, we know that two digits are correct one of them is in the right place and the other is in the wrong place. But again, two digits are correct. So, so far we have one and three, but we need two more digits because again, we're trying to fill this with four. And if we look at these two, we don't have any ones or threes. So we're looking for two new digits to make up the total four we are looking for. The first statement is supposed to have over here, one digit correct, and this one's supposed to have two digits correct. So they have to overlap and both have one of the correct digits. And we can see that the only digit they have in common is nine. We have a nine here and a nine here. So that means that nine is one of the other digits we're looking for. Again, we don't know in what order yet, but we'll find out soon. So we have one, three, and nine so far. Now let's think about where we can place the one. Well, we know that the one is not in the second place because of this statement are right here. It says they're in the wrong place. So the one is not in the second place. And from this statement over here, we know one is not in the fourth place. So the one can either be here or it can be here. But keep in mind what we just learned, that we have the nine. And from this statement, we know that one digit is correct and in the right place. And nine is in the first spot. So this first spot must go to the nine, leaving one with no other option but being in the third place as drawn. Now, let's get rid of some of these lines so we can better focus. We want to fill in these two remaining places, the second place and the fourth place. Well, 
by looking at these that at this statement one more time we know that two of the digits are correct and we've already chosen 9 as being one of them and it says that one of them is in the right place and the other in the wrong place but well, we already know 9 over here is in the wrong place because we figured out by using this statement that it is the leading number over here. So if nine is one of the two correct digits and it is in the wrong place, that means that either five or zero must be the other correct digit that is in the right place. Well, now we notice that it cannot be five because we've already placed something in the first spot. Which leaves us with zero. Zero must be the other correct digit that again is in the right place. So zero must be over here. And that leaves us with placing the three. And the three must then go into the last spot. So for the question, what is the last digit of the four digit number? We know it must be three, which is answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.